Okay, in this picture, uh, or in this problem, as you can see, we have a biconcave lens, so I'm going to draw a biconcave lens, like so. And the object I can just pick aside is not specified. There it is. Next thing we'll do is we'll write my variables down. The focal length is 70 centimeters, and since this is a kind of biconcave lens, that will always be negative. The object distance is 50 centimeters from the lens, and we find out that HO is 40 centimeters tall. Our first step that we want to do is we're asked to find out VI. We'll use the lens maker equation. We'll put in our variables. And now we'll do the algebra. I'll punch this in my calculator, making sure to use parentheses, and then hit the inverse button, VI, to come out to be negative 29.2 or something close to that. That negative tells us a uh, few things uh, on this. It's going to tell us that it is virtual, a negative VI image is always virtual, and virtual images are always upright, so that one response tells us a few different things. The next thing I want to do is find out what HI is, and to do that, um, I'm going to use the pi over ho equals negative di over do. HI equals negative di ho over do. Now we'll put in the variables. Negative, negative 29.2 times 40 over 50. This will work out to be 23.3 centimeters positive for HI. That positive tells us that it is upright. Um, again, if you look at the ray diagram, there's your focal point, here's your object. A ray runs straight, comes through the lens, it bends, but it appears to be coming back to the focal point. A light ray straight from the head through the center lens does not bend, and where those cross, the image is formed. Notice it is upright, it is reduced, which happens with our thing, and uh, it is virtual because it's on the same side of the lens.